my dear brothers and sisters we are very happy to bring out yet another video of our family altar series and today we are in the home of rudolf and isabel de costa they are staying at oshel sioli and today's word of god will be shared near their family altar further description regarding the family altar will be done towards the end of this video till then stay tuned my dear friends today's theme is if you hear god's voice harden not your hearts if you hear god's voice harden not your hearts and as we reflect upon this theme my dear friends i would like to share a small incident with you you know one of my friends one of my priest friends he once came to me with a request and he told me father seville could you please come and visit my home i need your help you know my family is going through a lot of turmoil my brothers and sisters they are having a lot of fights there's infighting happening in our family mainly because of our property and as a priest i have tried to tell them to settle all this amicably but somehow they don't seem to listen i also tried taking another priest who is a counselor a psychologist i tried to take him along thinking that maybe they would listen to him but my family is not listening father my brothers and sisters they are still fighting as a priest in the home they are not listening to me so if you come father maybe they will listen to you could you please come and visit them as this priest friend was explaining his situation to me deep within my heart i presumed that maybe if they are not listening to him they are not listening to the other priest they might as well not listen to me but just to make my priest friend happy i thought of visiting his home and i went and visited his family and the family knew me they were happy to welcome me i sat with them i spoke to them and i uh, encouraged them to settle all this matter amicably i tried to make them understand and they all seemed to listen they seemed to listen to me and uh, finally they assured me that they would try to sort out this matter in a nice way but my dear friends afterwards later on when i uh, took an update from this priest he told me that the situation had not improved the infighting was still going on the matter was still not sorted out though so many of us tried to convince them to speak to them they still continued to fight why was that because they had hardened their hearts they had chosen not to listen to anyone they just wanted to do the way they felt my dear brothers and sisters in konkani there is a saying jo kon nidla taka utong sompe pun jane nide chen dong getla taka mat utopa kotin what does that mean the person who is sleeping it's easy to wake him up but for the person who is pretending to sleep it's very difficult to wake him up my dear friends if someone has chosen to harden his heart it is very difficult to convince that person and this is precisely what we see happening in today's gospel jesus is speaking to the jews he has been teaching them he has been performing signs and miracles but after all that jesus has done the jews refuse to believe him and now the jews in today's gospel are asking jesus why are you keeping us in suspense tell us are you the one after all that jesus had done they were still not willing to believe because they had chosen not to believe my dear friends this is what we see in today's gospel and as i was reflecting on the word of god today a small english saying came to my mind for those who believe no explanation is necessary and for those who do not believe no explanation is sufficient no matter how much you try to explain to them they are not going to believe so my dear friends the lord keeps on reminding us that we should not harden our hearts especially we find it in the word of god in the letter to the hebrews chapter 3 verses 7 to 8 if you hear his voice today harden not your hearts if you hear god's voice today harden not your hearts my dear friends whether to harden our hearts or not to harden our hearts it's a choice that we make The word of God again reminds us in the book of Psalms Psalms chapter 95 verse 8 onwards it says the same thing 
Harden not your hearts as you did at Meribah. Your ancestors, your ancestors tested me and tried me, although they had seen all that I had done for them. My dear friends, very often we refuse to believe, we harden our hearts. We have a choice to make today. Do we allow the Lord to speak to us or are we hardening our hearts? Today, do I want the voice of the Lord to seep through me? Do I want to go according to what God would like me to do? Or do I still want to persist in my own ways? My dear friends, it is a choice. It is a choice. And the word of God reminds us today that we should not harden our hearts, but we should listen to God's voice. Let us listen to the Lord speaking to us. God speaks through us through various people. God speaks to us through events. God speaks through us through circumstances. And most importantly, God speaks to us through His word. So today, let us allow the word of the Lord to speak to us. Let us uh, pattern our own wills and plans according to the will of God. For this grace, let us pray. It is a blessing, privilege and honor to have Father Seville and Jessel at our home. My day starts at 5.45 in the morning. The first thing that I do is light our lamp at the altar. And then it is a morning prayer that I have taught my children when they were very small. And till today, we say the short prayer, saying good morning to Jesus. When thanking him for this day, and for asking his pr protection through his precious blood. We, as a family, right through our young age, have always been in the ministry of prayer. Our family altar comprises and is adorned by a lot of statues of saints. We never fail to pray our rosary daily. And the memorare and the prayer to Saint Michael is said daily. We have our rosary to Mother Mary daily, but apart from it, we also pray through the devotion through the days. Like on Tuesday, it would be the St. Anthony's Rosary in Konkini. Like it goes, how our ancestors taught us, Santa Anton Utsoryan So Milagri So, Minin Jesu Patka Bogos Kakut Kor, through the whole rosary. On Wednesdays, we have our devotion to Mother Mary and the Navina of Perpetual Sucker. On Thursdays, we would pray to Father Agnel. On Fridays, we have the prayer to the Shroud. There is a rosary to the Shroud as well. On Saturdays, it's the Navina to Our Lady of Falankani. We say all this after our daily rosary. But we never skip the daily rosary, whatever time it may be. If we are out, if we are late, if we are tired, no matter what, the daily rosary is always prayed by our family. And I'm sure that my children also would have been doing the same thing, though they are far away from us, but close to us in prayers. Through the precious blood of our Divine Lord, miracles have happened, be it with our health, be it with the progress of our children, be it the peace in our homes, in the surroundings, in the family, be it during temptations, whatever be the circumstances, the Lord is with us and that is our faith and belief. Uh, well, as a family, my parents lived with us earlier, now they are no longer with us. But they have inculcated this faith and we are proud to be good Catholics. They have instilled in us that through prayer, Though it may take God's own time, but it will never fail. And we believe in this very much. We pray fervently knowing that God in His time will bless us with whatever He has to because He has plans for us. I could pray all through the day. There are short prayers even while I'm cooking, while I move around. I pray for all those who have asked for my prayers, especially for those who are terminally sick, for those who are going through chemo and radiation, for those who have asked for my prayers 
through any difficulties of life i thank god that i am just an instrument that is making this prayer and that he will hear the prayer of a sinner we are always fervently praying for everything especially for our health there were times when we were not in good health hospitalization came in but we never wavered uh, i forgot to mention the morning also starts with adoration we uh, put on the divine uk sometimes the divine colombo uh, adoration and that starts with the early morning angelus or the regina cheli that we are saying now at the moment my daughter is now settled living in qatar and my son has recently moved to dubai but while we were all here with our parents we always prayed the rosary together i have helped them as my husband also was away from home we have always prayed the rosary online as well we used to come online through skype at that time and pray our family rosary my children have inculcated a habit of praying and helping others through prayers also we are also inviting people to pray with us at times we teach people to pray the different rosaries that we know be it to mother mary there is a different version that i found in the blue book that was gifted to me it goes like our lady queen of our home pray for us there is another rosary to ward off evil spirits we pray to that there is a book that i have rejoice unto him and it helps us to pray so much through different occasions of our lives we are blessed dear lord and most importantly we never forget thanking our lord for the blessings that he has poured upon us and he will continue to do so we thank him for everything that he has blessed us with more than what we could ask for we have come up through difficult situations but the lord has never failed us and we thank him for that and i just want to say tu chi bore pona koshini al telyao tu so gonit mog koso mon mistelyao tu chi podvi moi ma koshi poloi telyao tu che upkar donia koshe badoi telyao i thank father several to be here with us to have some small description about the altar as you have heard about my wife said everything what i have to say i have no words to say anything now left i thank my wife for being with me all the years and secondly i thank her for the prayerful gift she has given to our entire family without her nothing would have worked properly here. there is no day that we have missed our family rosary every day when whenever we are late we are bound to have a family rosary with a short prayer and for the thanksgiving what the lord has given us i always thank the almighty god to be with us and to keep us in good health as she also mentioned our health was not well few days back but due to our prayers to you our lord we are recovered i always thank the almighty again and again to have this beautiful altar of us and whenever i am displeased or disheartened i such sit in the front of the altar and pray and have a dialogue with our lord that i can be the matter will be solved and suddenly i get an answer it has been solved we have bible reading after after the prayer and we take a verse a day verse and i read the bible especially god our protector is said every day 
of hour in the evening before we go to sleep we also pray the angels in the morning three times second morning evening and afternoon 